One of the worst things that can happen to your landing pages are when they become stale. One way to prevent that is by displaying dynamic text such as dates to keep the visitor feeling as if the page and the offer is still fresh. In this video, I will show you how to add custom dynamic dates in WordPress landing pages by using the dynamic text feature built into the Seedprod page builder. Everyone here at Seedprod loves having you part of the community, so please subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of future videos. All right, let's jump into the video. So the first thing we're gonna do is install the Seedprod page builder. Now, if you are already familiar with Seedprod and you have it installed, you can use the timestamps in the description to skip ahead from this part. I have seedprod.com open in another tab. You can also click the link in the description below. And what we wanna do is get Seedprod. Now there's a big button here and a big button in the top right hand corner. So click there and select the account that makes the most sense for you. Once you have an account, let's go ahead and log in. On the left hand side, use the email address and password that you use to create your account. And let's click on the login button. Once you're logged into your account, let's go ahead and click on the downloads tab here. It's the second one from the left. And we want to go and click on the big orange button here to download the plugin. Great. We also want to grab the license key here on the bottom left hand side. You can click this little icon here to copy that. And now we can close this tab. Let's come back to WordPress and we want to go to plugins on the left hand side here and add new. Up top, we want to upload the plugin. Let's click on that and we can drag this zip file right onto the choose file button or you can click on choose file and select the zip file from your hard drive. Let's go ahead and click on install now. And next we want to activate the plugin. So let's click that button. And Seedprod is going to ask you to enter your license key. We can paste that license key right here and verify the key. If everything went well, you should see a green success message here in the top right hand corner. And if you're using the same browser as I am, you can close this tab on the bottom. Great, that's all there is to it. Seedprod is now installed into your WordPress website. Let's go ahead and create a new landing page. So on the left hand side under pages, let's click pages. And now we'll see these different modes that Seedprod has to offer. But on the bottom, we wanna create a new landing page. Next, Seedprod's gonna ask you to choose a new page template. Now you don't have to, you can create a blank template from scratch, but Seedprod comes with over a hundred professionally designed and mobile friendly templates that you can select and import directly into the page builder. And then you can work with that template directly to save you a lot of time. So for example, let's go ahead and click on lead squeeze. And let's just take a quick look at the examples here and I'll find one that I like. Let's go with this one and I'll click on the check mark to import this. Next, we'll just give it a name. For this example, I'll just call mine dynamic since we're going to be looking at dynamic dates and then I'll save and start editing the page. And there we go, we can see the seed prod page builder. So that template that we just selected was imported into the page builder. And you can see that on the right side. On the left hand side, we can see our blocks. So we have our standard blocks and advanced blocks. If you're not familiar with blocks, these are different elements on a web page that we can just drag and drop directly into our page. And now each block has different block settings. You can modify those. So for example, if I want to use a stock image and then search for an image, let's say banana, I can just select a random one here. Let's go with this one. And now I have a picture of bananas into my page. It's that easy. If you want to get rid of that, you can delete the block. And now we're back to where we began. All right. So I'm not going to customize this too much, but if you want, you can fully customize. So for example, this image up here, you can just click on it and then you can see the background image. You can delete this and add your own and upload your own images. You can select a stock photo like we just looked at. And then we also have our background color and our fonts and all of that. We can change all of the fonts on the block settings. So if we click on, for example, this headline and we come to advanced, you can see there's topography, color, etc. But usually if everything is the same across the page, you can go to the bottom left and we have global settings that we can look at. So here we can set fonts for all of our headers and body text. So if I change, for example, all of the header fonts to Marvel, you can see that those are updated immediately. And for the body text, let's just pick a random one here, Corget or Corget, and we can see that that was updated as well. Now, if you're not great at picking themes and you need a little help, we have the font themes button here that you can click. And these are preset header and body text fonts that work well together. So you can find one that you like, click on it, and then that'll update your page. Same thing for your colors. So right here, we can click colors and we have headers, text, buttons, links, and backgrounds. So for example, if I have a different background color I wanna pick, maybe something in the dark green family or light green, you can see how that can be updated quickly. Now let's say you made a mistake and you wanna take all that back. We have the undo and redo feature here. So you can just undo this. We can go back through the different colors until we're back to the original. All right, I just wanna show you those few things so you are aware of them. To get back to the blocks, we can click the little blocks button here. And let's put a headline right in here so we can start creating our dynamic dates. So we have a headline here that we can use. And if we click on block settings, we can see the options here on the left-hand side. Now here we can see where we can put our text. So if we change this, our custom text, you can see that that is updated into the page immediately. So I was thinking we could do something where it says sale ends. 
and then we could have a date here that displays maybe today's date with the month, day, and the year. Now this is completely customizable, so you could show the time and the date in different formats. So let's take a look on how to do that. So we actually have the dynamic text button here that we can insert with, but let's look at the documentation quick, just so we can see the different formats that are available to us. All right, so let's head over to seedprod.com and we can come all the way down to the bottom and we can go to documentation. Let's just do a quick search here in the documentation for dynamic text. And in the live search results here, we can see the first result. We'll click on this and I'll leave a link in the description for this page. If you like, you can click on that. Now here, this will give a little bit of a description of how to use the date-based dynamic text, which is exactly what we're going to be doing. And it looks something like this right here. So we have these brackets and a hashtag with today and then the format. Right here in the middle, you'll see a colon and everything on the left-hand side here is is the time or the date that you're trying to target. So in this example, we're targeting today. And then everything on the right hand side is the format of that. So if we come down, we can see two links here for date and format. So if I just open both of these up in a new tab, we can take a quick look. So here we have the date parsing. So this is everything that you can add or examples of everything that you can add on the left hand side of this. So right here where it says today, instead of saying today, we could say, for example, 3 p.m. on Wednesday or the end of next week. You can actually write these out like a normal string and that'll work just fine. If you want a very specific time or date, you can put those in as well. You can see examples here. And then we can take this date and we can format it. So if we look at the other tab, we can see the format options here. And we'll see all of these tokens or symbols that we can use. So for example, in the documentation here, we have this symbol with a capital A. If we come back, we can see that this is the full day of the week. So for example, today is Sunday. So this would show Sunday. Now you can combine these to create any type of format that you want. And if we scroll down, we can actually see these LDML tokens. So if you want to display minutes or hours and different versions of those, lowercase, uppercase, quarters. You have many, many, many different options here to format the date and time. What I want to do is show today's date, which is October 24th and it's 2021. So this is what it's going to end up looking like. The great thing about the dynamic text is that when tomorrow comes, this will actually update by itself and show October 25th, 2021. And I won't have to do anything to change that. Let's go ahead and actually make this happen. So let's go ahead and delete this. And I'm going to click on insert dynamic text. And here we can see we have two options. We have the date time and we have the query parameter. So this is great if you want to get parameters from the URL and then you can take those and display it into your page. Today we're just looking at the date time. So after we select date time, we have select date time format. So here we can have today, tomorrow, today, date, tomorrow, date, month, next month, next year. So let's just pick today for now and then let's insert this. And you can see that that'll insert the code here. And this is the exact same example that we can see in the documentation here. But we want to change this and customize this because right now it's not exactly how I want it. So if we save this and let's go ahead and preview the page, we can see that it said it's sales ends Sunday. Well, Sunday is very generic and it's not specific enough for me. So let's go ahead and change this. So the first thing I want to do is show October. So let's come back. Let's actually close some of these windows. We can close the documentation for now and the date parsing. We just want to know about the date formatting. Then we have all of these different options that we're going to use. So right at the top here, we have a lowercase b and an uppercase b. So the lowercase b will show the abbreviated month name. So for example, J-A-N for January or O-C-T for October. Here is a capital B and this will show the full month. So let's go ahead and just copy this. I'm gonna bring that back. And instead of the A here, I'm gonna paste in that B. Now, the next thing I wanna show is the date. So today's date, let's see the different formats and options that we can use. So right here, we have the two digit day of the month with a zero, so zero five. Here we also have the American month first slash format. This is all of this. I think that's too much for what we want. So let's go with the lowercase d right here. I'm gonna copy that. And right here, I'm just gonna put a space and I'll paste that right beside it. Next, we want the year. So let's go ahead and look for that. If we come down all the way to the bottom, we have the four digit year and that's a capital Y. So I'll just copy this, bring it back. And I want a comma in between there. So I'll put a comma after that D space and let's just paste in that year there. Now I'm going to go ahead and save this. And again, I want to preview this. And there you go. You can see sale ends October 24th, 2021. And we now have dynamic text into our landing page. So again, tomorrow or the day after or a month from now, this will completely update itself all by itself. And this will give a sense of urgency to visitors where they think that the sale is going to be ending today. So they might be more inclined to finish signing up for whatever service or product that you're selling. So let's just come back to the page builder and let's make a few changes here. Let's say, for example, sale ends. You want to change this color. 
but not the whole thing. Let's click the toolbar toggle. And on the left hand side here, we have text color. I'm just going to change this to red and you can see that that's updated. Next, if I come down all the way here to font size, we can maybe make this a little bit smaller. So we want it noticeable with the color, but we don't want it to take over our main headline on the page. Let's go ahead and save this and just see what it looks like with the preview. So there we go. We have the smaller headline with the sale ends in red and then the dynamic text that'll update automatically by itself. And let's come under page settings here and let's see publish the page. So before you publish your page, you wanna go through your settings and make sure everything's set up. So I have my page title, the URL that it'll be put on, the page status with the draft or publish. I'm not gonna publish it here. I actually do that right here. I can click down and publish it. We have the seed prod link. So you can put in your affiliate URL here if you wanna join the affiliate program and get a 20% commission on all sales. The powered by seed prod link is a little button that shows up in the bottom right hand corner of your pages. We also have isolation mode if you wanna enable that. And this is to prevent conflicts with your theme or other plugins. And if you're using any Facebook features, you can put your Facebook app ID right in here. For SEO, we recommend all in one SEO, which is the number one WordPress SEO plugin. And the same thing with analytics if you're looking to get some analytics into your web page and your landing pages monster insights is amazing for that next we have scripts here and we can paste some header scripts body scripts or, or footer scripts if you need to put anything in there and you can set up a custom domain so you can use a specific domain that'll point to the landing page so this url so maybe you want a separate domain name that points directly to this you can actually set up a custom domain here and you can click on the documentation to learn more about that once you finish everything let's go ahead and save and let's click here and publish the page page. Let's go ahead and see the live page. So there we go. There's our finished landing page with our dynamic text up here at the top that keeps the page looking fresh and the offer looking fresh. Now that you know how to add dynamic dates in WordPress landing pages, check out this video on how to build a landing page in WordPress from scratch. This will walk you through the process in SeedProd step-by-step. -step. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.